Hi, I'm Doug from the product team here at Sophos, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to register an access point. So starting here on the wireless dashboard inside Sophos Central, we can see any access points we've already got online. And now to register a new one, we'll simply click the access points link in the left nav here. If it's our first time using the product, we'll get a pop-up window right away. If not, we can just click this register button to get the same window. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward three-step process. First, we want to make sure our access point is up and running and can access the internet via a router or however devices on your network currently connect. We'll need this in order to broadcast. If properly connected, the AP should initially show green, and when the green light starts flashing, it means the AP is ready to initialize. We'll want to make sure we have our access point serial number at hand because we'll need to enter it in a bit. So step one, connect to the internet and make sure the AP is flashing green. Step two, get the serial number, and step three, enter it. Once we click register, we'll see the state of the access point down below here. It's waiting for the initial connection. This could take a few minutes depending on your connection and the AP's connection. Then it'll move to a registering state, and finally it's registered. So at this point, we're connected to the access point from a management perspective, but it's not actually broadcasting anything yet. So the next step is to make sure the access point knows which networks to broadcast. So we'll click next here. And at this point, we can change the access point's name if we like, APX 530 Kitchen. Click Save Host Name. And on our list of APs, here's our new one that we just registered. You can skip this step here, but just to give you an idea of what's going on, if we go back to the dashboard now, we can see that we now have five access points. One is offline, so we might want to check on it. Three are up and running. And our newest one is the one that's showing up as unconfigured. So let's go back to access points and click on our APX 530 that we just registered. And here's our configuration screen in all its glory. Now we can start having some fun. One decision is whether we want this AP to broadcast on the 2.4 gigahertz band, the 5 gigahertz band, or both. The transmission power for each, the channel width, and there are a few other options here. This dynamic background channel selection isn't on by default, but is worth considering as it automatically changes to cleaner channels in order to optimize the network. Now, if we've already got SSID set up, we'll select which ones we want this access point to broadcast. We can choose up to eight of them. We generally recommend choosing around three or so to ensure the bands don't get too congested. If we don't have any SSIDs set up already, we can do so by clicking SSIDs in the left nav here. Once we're ready to go, click Save. We can see now that the AP is doing some updating. It's locking in those SSIDs, it's checking for new firmware, it's relaying its status back to Sofo Central. We can see that it's dynamically changing channels. So once it's done updating, we'll see the channels it's broadcasting on in this far column here. That could take a few minutes, so let's jump back to the dashboard and see that we now have four access points online and in good health. We are up and running.